of this, guys. How nice is that light sequence? That's what happens when you turn on the new Audi RS7. That's what I've got the key to today. You've even got it here on the plate. <laughs> of the main differences between the RS7 and the standard A7. I'll take you through them right now. This is a black honey chrome grille. You don't have like the chrome features on the A7. It's 40 millimeters wider than the standard A7. The hood, the roof and the front two doors are standard on the A7 as well, but the rest of it is pretty much fully reworked. This car also sits lower. It sits 20 millimeters lower than the standard A7. Excuse the mess here. I've been driving this all week and it only just got like this in the last two minutes i was like oh my god no we got to do this video now when it looks like this but actually it just looks like i've been given this car a real go let's have a look at these rims i've cleaned off one rim for you <laughs> so you can actually see the color of it it is not in fact dirt brown it's black and these rims look pretty damn cool these are 22 inch rims the standard comes with 21 inch, the RS7. What's optional is red brake calipers. They actually come standard in black, but what is optional on top of that is ceramic brakes. And if you get those babies, they're gonna save you over 30 kilos in weight. One of the main reasons why I wanted an RS7 is because we've been traveling with a lot of luggage. Let's take a look at the boot space. Here we go, voila. We have two large suitcases. Pretty easily fit and also a carry-on. Probably fit another carry-on up here. So it's not bad boot space to be honest with you. So that's been pretty handy to get through Germany as we've been driving from shoot to shoot. So that's the boot. Boom. I'll take you through the interior in just a second. Let's turn her on. I want to show you something. Start stop button is here. You hear a little bit of a gurgle as it turns on. When you have a high powered vehicle, this is 600 horsepower. Usually we want to show off a little bit, right? And you do that sometimes just as you're at the red lights and you just kind of want to rev it a little bit and hear how beautiful the exhaust note is. You know, you're like, oh yeah, it sounds freaking amazing. Let me rev it a little bit. The issue with that is you cannot rev this car past 3000 RPM. Okay, I'm gonna open up the exhaust and this is as loud as it's gonna get if you ever wanna rev it. Just gonna press this RS mode hot key. You can actually play around with what this controls on this screen here in the settings. Okay, so you can hear that it gets a little bit louder, which is nice. Now I'm gonna rev it. This is as much as you're ever gonna hear. It's all right, I mean, you still get a little bit of gurgling, crackling, but it's not what you want. Look what happens here. You rev it, gets to 3000, all right? And then it caps off, it already goes into red. There, you see? That's all you can do. This here, you see this leather has perforation, it's got little holes in it. This actually allows for ventilation through the seat. So you've got heating, you can turn the heating on full, or you can take this off and can you actually put ventilation on. So that will feed cool air through the seat so that you feel like you've got air conditioning coming through the back in those hot summer days, right? So that's pretty cool, heating and cooling on the seats. You've got this sports steering wheel here with the bottom of being flat. You've got all of these RS badges around the car here on the footmat. For the first time in an RS7, you can also get three seats along the back. One, two, three, instead of the usual sporty or sportier version of two back seats. Oh, I've got something cool to show you. Come around, come around. This is cool, this is cool. It has an accelerator measurement. Right, what does that mean? Basically, it times your zero to 100. So if you press this here, it comes up with this menu and then go into that and you can press what you want times. Zero to 100, zero to 200, a quarter mile, one eighth of a mile. Zero to 100 on this car, they say is 3.6 seconds. So 
Let's see if we can get anywhere near that on a road like this. Um, wish me luck. This car has a twin turbo V8 with 600 horsepower. And even though you can't rev it properly, when I'm just driving along, I can actually hear some gurgling, which is really, really nice. You know this annoying auto on off feature where if you're stuck in traffic and you stop, the engine switches off? This one, ready? Right, goes off. But the cool thing is, is that when it notices the car in front, moves forward, it will automatically switch the engine on. Let's see. There you go. Instead of you having to take your foot off the brake to indicate that you're ready to go again, once it sees the car in front is taking off, it's like, right, switch on the engine so that when it's your go, you're ready to take off and put your foot on the accelerator. So I quite like that feature. All right, we're just about to hit the highway. Now, standard in the RS7, the top speed is 250 kilometers an hour, but then, if you pay more, you unlock a higher top speed. Standard 250, then you can buy the dynamic package and that will take you to 280 kilometers an hour. And then above that, you can get the dynamic plus package, which this baby has, and that will unlock a top speed of 305 kilometers an hour. That's gonna cost you a cool 12 and a half thousand euros for an extra 55 kilometers an hour. But if you get to drive on the German autobahns, that is worth it. Because here, there are open speed limits. On some highways or on some stretches of the highways here in Germany, you can go as fast as you want. Now, I say that obviously you need to be in the right car, a car that is safe, that isn't old and rickety, has all of the latest safety technology, etc., etc., and is able to handle those top speeds. If you have a car like that and you keep your wits about you and you drive very safely, you know what's happening with the other cars around you, then it is kind of quite a cool experience. All right, we're about to take the RS7 on the German Autobahn. If there are any open speed limits, We'll see what she can do. Are you ready? Holy shit, there's a semi next to me. Okie dokie. Yes. It takes off, you guys. Like, I really like this car. I could imagine this is a daily. That would be a very, very nice daily. That's Thank the you. magic sign, you guys. Look up there. See how there's a hundred with a cross through it? That means you can go as fast as you want. We've got a bit of traffic tonight, so I'm doing about 170 at the moment. And this car can handle it so beautifully. It doesn't even feel like you're going 170. This car also has a COD system. That stands for Cylinder On Demand System. What that does is when the car realizes it doesn't need all eight cylinders, when it's just coasting on the highway or cruising, then it will actually just use four cylinders. So it goes between being a four cylinder engine and a V8. This car also has something what they call a mild hybrid system. That means that when you take your foot off the accelerator above 55 kilometers an hour, it will use the stored electricity to cruise with the engine turned off. And that's between 55 kilometers an hour and I think around 120 kilometers an hour. Once you go over 100 kilometers an hour, the wing at the back goes up automatically and the car drops down a further 10 millimeters. Jeez Louise, this is freaking fast as anything. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 240 on the Autobahn. You just gotta stay calm, be confident and keep your wits about you and be in a car that can actually manage those speeds. Please do not do that if you are not an experienced driver, guys. That is not something to be taken lightly at all. Okay, woo, that's it. 
I hope you like my little review of the Audi RS7. I actually really enjoy driving this car. Give us a quick thumbs up, press that thumbs up button now if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family. I would love to have you with me here on this channel. Join our community. All right, that is it. Love you. Over and out. Bye.